Hi guys, just a quick overview of what we'll be covering today. So we'll be looking at the design section capacities, Phi MSX, and how that sort of leads into flexural torsional buckling, FTB. And uh, what I want to do is sort of go over some of the stuff we've learned and use that to move forward. And uh, also do an example of uh, a beam with full lateral restraint, FLR, um, along its entire length. So, this, uh, so the section capacity, so design section capacity with the phi factor um, it's for so phi MSS MS that could be the in terms of X or Y so MSX or MSY depending on whether we're bending about the X or Y axis and uh, what really dictates it is the um, shape of the beam whether uh, so through the B on T ratio whether it is slender compact or non-compact as we've learned and how that influences so this B on T how that influences the effective section modulus, ZE, and that essentially dictates what sort of uh, moments we can achieve with our beam, whether that be uh, it will achieve a local buckle or whether it will uh, yield and uh, achieve a value a little bit greater than yielding, but um, less than plas the plastic moment, or able to achieve the plastic moment. So using this knowledge, we're able to get here. Now what I want to do is um, move forward because what we did previously was using first principles, uh, but when we're doing flexural torsional buckling questions or FTB questions, what we normally do is we just uh, take these values straight from the one steel tables. 